fuck it is is more let's say from a this is in my own mind but is more an anger point of view like fuck it where fuck this is oh i'm not going to stand for this anymore mm. like i'm going to step in and i'm going to start to change things because i don't like the way this is going and so this really came out of uh, you know you know I'm, i'm very very open so i've n- never been what i would say was clinically depressed i've been down i've been sad at times so so i i've never been someone that i would ever say was, was depressed i literally the holiday season couldn't get out of bed and i couldn't figure out why until i finally realized that for me if i don't have some big crazy project that's going to push my limits that self creation thing i feel like there's no reason to wake up or at least that's what came to me when i was thinking about that because i have a i ha- do have a great life i have the exact dream that i wanted to write after desiree passed away and i could just stay here perfect and that felt like resignation to me and so i've been in situations where when i'm not happy with the way things are going in my life i say fuck this i'm going to get to work and i'm going to make something change so the idea the concept of this really is it's a block it's 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 a coaching it's a group coaching program sort of a blog sort of basically i'm writing my thoughts weekly about fuck this like you know fucking own it or whatever else and i'm using the language because it has been shown especially in today's world where everything is so vanilla and so you can't say anything and you everyone's offended and jarring language interrupts habitual thinking Now there's going to be people that it interrupts it in a way where they back away and there's going to be people that it interrupts habitual thinking and they're like, "Oh, you know what? Yeah. I want to go down that road." 